Hello boys and girls, I'm the Flying Teacup and I just want to make this short little video explaining on how I work and uh, how I make my videos to maybe inspire you to make your own. And this video is unscripted, so if anything sounds a little bit off, it, that well that's why. So um, let's begin with like the general workflow. So first of all, with pretty much all of my videos except for Tales from the Frontier, I start by writing a script because all my videos are scripted. And, and depending on if it's a, a theory or a let's talk, the, the workflow is pretty different. Um, but I always use uh, Google Docs when I write my scripts. Um, and the reason why I use Google Docs instead of like Microsoft Word is because, well, <laughs> it's just more convenient. If you have a Google account, you can just make a, a Google Docs document whenever, wherever, and you can access it on any of your devices. So that's why I use it. Uh, and then uh, for the recording stage, I use Audacity, which is a voice recording program, which is free to use and it's really easy and simple to use. <laughs> and it's just press record and everything works. Uh, so yeah. And then, uh, then for recording the gameplay, I use uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay because I have an NVIDIA uh, graphics card. Um, before I used to use OBS, but OBS is better to use when you uh, stream and it's it's a little bit process heavy to to record with, so that's that's why I I have stopped using it. And then for the editing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, when I started out, I used to use Adobe Premiere Elements, which is a little it's, it's like a light version of Adobe Premiere Pro, but it's it's really easy to use if you've used any of Adobe's programs before. You can also use Sony Vegas. Uh, I've tried it, but it's not really my thing, and I know a lot of other people tend to use it, but well, that, that's that's up to you to use. Let's go get into a little more specifically what separates the workflow of the different series from each other, and let's start with the, with the theories. So when I write a script for the theories, I tend to just uh, take a question or uh, discuss a specific subject like let's say the Colosseum for example uh, and I start by looking up everything that could be connected with Colosseum through gameplay uh, the wiki reddit whatever and then I just paste everything together in uh, in a Google Drive document and then depending on what information I get my uh, thesis may uh, change and my idea, my question might change. Uh, and when I think I've got enough sources, I just tend to write everything down. And then when I start recording, and this is something I do with all my videos, I tend to splice the script up in different takes, which consists of like two to three sentences. And the reason why I do that is because it's much easier to record, at least for me, who is not a native English speaker. Uh, and and generally, I don't really like reading things out loud. So for example, when I stream, I tend to not read out the chat because, well, I'm not really that good of reading out loud. But having these takes makes it much easier for me. This, this is just a personal, personal thing. And then when I edit the video, I just tend to take one take at a time. So I, I edit the visuals with the audio at the same time. And that's that's pretty much how I make my theory videos. They, are, they each video is it's obviously different, so I can't speak for all of them. Let's move over to the Let's Talk series. So uh, when I make the Let's Talk videos, uh, the script is well, it's it's very different from the theories. The reason why it's, it's like that is because I want to make I want to make it as relatable to the to the thing I'm talking about uh, as possible. So what I do is that I, I actually have the script on my second monitor and then I play Titanfall at the same time. So if I if I play with, uh, for example, Ronin, and then I come up with a really great Ronin joke, I just switch over to my second monitor, write it down and then keep playing. And that's how all my Let's Talk videos has been even even from the start. Um, 
so, so that's why the, the the scripts take so long to make and I really would like to make them faster but the thing is that I can't because I want to make them as true as possible and as honest as possible even though it's over dramatic all the time and the let's talk videos doesn't really mirror my personal thought on the th on the subject I'm talking about and then for the recording phase uh, I tend to record all the informational uh, voice lines and uh, informational uh, facts first and then I record uh, uh, all the jokes and all the screaming and stuff like that and the reason why I do that is because I want my monotone uh, serious voice to be consistent throughout the informational parts while I want the joking voice to be also consistent and then while editing uh, I might cut out a lot of jokes uh, because I don't think they make the cut uh, but I also tend to uh, add some jokes because I just come up with them on the spot while editing uh, so yeah the having a script for the let's talk doesn't mean that all the jokes and everything in the script will actually make it to the final cut uh, but that's that's just the let's talk videos and then finally we have the tales from the frontier so in the tales from the frontier uh, we can scrap the entire first section, which is writing, because I don't write the, the episodes. The only episode I've written is episode one, uh, but the other two that has been released to this date of recording this video, um, it has been written by other people. And uh, I want to keep it that way, but the reason why they take so long to make, and I've talked about this before, but it's, it's, it's that there's a lot of scripts and a lot of stories that require multiple characters and having multiple characters requires multiple voice actors. Of course I could voice act everything myself, but looking back at episode one where I where I voice acted every uh, character except for one, it's it's not it's not that great. So I, I'd like to have multiple uh, multiple people voicing multiple characters. Uh, but that requires other stuff like uh, setting up a, uh, a schedule for every voice actor so that they can, uh, they can record everything, get into character and stuff like that. But when the, when the voice acting uh, stage is, uh, has passed, uh, it, it gets a lot more calmer. So when editing the Tales from the Frontier, it's actually kind of opposite of both theories and uh, the Let's Talk series because I want to uh, I want to start with the audio and make all the audio uh, fit first and then I add the visuals uh, and for example all the sound clips or sound effects in in the video is actually manually made I could go into detail how I make each sound effect but I, I think it's it's not the time right now this video is long enough as it is and for example in episode 3 in the beginning you can hear these like nature-ish sounds and where that actually comes from is actually crash site so what I did was that I just uh, walked into uh, a cave in crash site and then I just uh, stood there turned down uh, all the dialogue uh, audio all the music log uh, all the music audio and stuff like that and uh, just recorded the the environment sounds and it worked perfectly so for for the visuals uh, i get a lot of help from my close friend nakenheimer uh, who makes these parallax effect he was kind enough to send like a, a speed art or whatever you call it uh, where he works on episode 3 um, and it's, it's just really fascinating really cool and it really gives that special storytelling touch to to the episodes um, but for for all the but for all the the visual clips that are that isn't parallaxed uh, I personally have to record them in game and to use that I use uh, multiple mods and 
the most important mod I use is called IGCS Injector, which is uh, a mod that allows you to use a free cam and uh, it's built specifically to take screenshots in the single player. But for instance, if you look at episode 3, uh, all the clips were pretty much taken from Angel City, which is which is a multiplayer map. And what I did was that I used uh, another mod <laughs> called Ice Pick, which is originally made to uh, make uh, your custom uh, your custom gauntlet runs. Um, but what that mod allows you to do is launch every single map in the game as a single player which allows you to, well, record and use this uh, camera mod uh, pr pretty easily. So what you can do with this ice pick mod is that you can basically take anything and put it anywhere on the map, um, which is perfect for Tales from the Frontier because then you can build up your own scenarios uh, and stuff like that. And here, here's a, a clip where I uh, try to get the, the pictures and, uh, and stuff for episode three. Uh, as you can see, it's it's a it's a pretty lengthy pro process, but it's it's absolutely worth it. Uh, so yeah, that that's that's how I make my videos. And if you watch the entire thing, uh, a huge thank you to you. Thanks for watching, and take care.